In this video I'm going to explain how to convert speeds and flow rates. So these are quantities that include a per unit time within the units. So to start with I'm going to look at the example of speed and the example that we're given is to convert 30 miles per hour into meters per second. So we, we need to write it like this in order to help us. So we write 30 miles divided by one hour. Now we know that there's 3600 seconds per hour or one hour per 3,600 3, seconds. So we multiply by one hour divided by 3,600 seconds. We also know that there's 1,609.34 meters per mile. So we multiply by that. Now we can cancel things down. The hours cancel out, the miles cancel out. So we're just left with meters per second. And when we work all of this out, we get 13.41 meters per second. Same sort of thing, 42 miles per hour this time, converted into meters per second, and it's the same process. We can, we can cancel out the hours, cancel out the miles, and we end up with 18.78 meters per second. Now if we go to flow rates, if we have 1.5 kilograms per second of oxygen being fed into a furnace, uh, what is the flow rate in moles per second? So again we write it like this, we have 1.5 kilograms divided by one second. So that's our flow rate. Now we know that there's a thousand grams per kilogram, so we multiply by that. We also know for oxygen that we've got 32 grams per one mole, or one mole per 32 grams. So we multiply by one mole divided by 32 grams. Now we can cancel out the kilograms and the grams and we'll be left with moles per second. So if we work this out, we get 46.9 moles per second. Here's another example, 3.2 kilograms per second of hydrogen. What's the flow rate in moles per second? Same process, 3.2 kilograms divided by one second. We multiply by 1000 grams over one kilogram. We know the molecular weight of hydrogen is two grams per mole or one mole per two grams. So we do one mole divided by two grams. We cancel down the units and calculate what we've got left and we end up with 1600 moles per second. So that's been an introduction to how we can convert flow rates and speeds.